This week, for Spooky Week or Halloween Week, on the Does It Hold Up video, you guys selected Child's Play from 1988. This was on a list that also included Halloween, the first Friday the 13th, and the original Nightmare on Elm Street. But you guys selected Child's Play on a very tight race with Halloween, and I'm really excited to tell you that I watched the movie and I'm ready to review it and let you guys know whether or not Child's Play holds up. First off, I had seen this movie when I was really young. I didn't remember a lot of it. I remembered kind of the general story of it. Uh, of course, you've got your, your main villain who, at the start of the movie, is killed by a police officer after he's trying to uh, get away. And on his death, he decides to use the enchantment to put himself inside of the doll. And that doll winds up in the hands of this little boy. Little boy, of course, I, I gotta say, is played by a fantastic young actor, uh, he's as cute as can be, but also he really holds his own in a movie where he could have got lost in the shuffle very easily. Of course, the purpose of what this guy that went into the doll, Chucky, is trying to do is he wants to kill his partner that bailed on him and also the police officer that shot him. And so in this movie, we see him going after these people and using the kid at the start to try to work his way around things and not let people know that he's actually the doll. All that sorts of thing. The movie's actually a lot of fun. I love the practical effects they used in this. It, it made it a lot more real to me. Uh, I thought this movie definitely had that slasher mentality where, you know, you, you've got your people that are running around. They don't realize what's happening and, and he's sneaking up on them. You get the music cues, you know, all that kind of stuff. It worked really well for all of that. Is Child's Play or the first Chucky movie the greatest story of all time? Probably not, but you don't really expect that from one of these slasher films. Uh, you just want something fun, some cool kills, which you absolutely get in this movie. And overall, likable characters that he's coming after. And you get that. I, I enjoyed the cop character in this, who, I might add, is the same voice as uh, Jack Skellington in Nightmare Before Christmas. And, and the mom is a great character. And of course, I already talked about the little boy. Really loved that part of the story. The mother-son dynamic worked really well in this. And overall, this is one of my, I, I feel like, better slasher movies and movies from that day and age to come up to now and be able to rewatch and not feel like you're in an old movie. I mean, yes, it does feel like you're in the 80s when you're looking at the set design and all that kind of thing. But it still holds up in a way that it don't feel cheesy and of the time. If you're looking for a fun slasher Halloween movie to watch this Halloween season, it's here. We're, we're here. And this is one of those movies that you absolutely should watch because it's a lot of fun. It still holds up. And to me, on my movie time minute scale, I'm going to give this one a 53 out of 60 seconds. I think it's still a fantastic movie even today. And I've seen some of the sequels. I know there's a lot more comedic aspects that come into the sequels. And there was a couple funny moments in this one as well. But... I think this one stayed true to the horror genre as close as any of these Child's Play Chucky movies have done. I think this is probably the best of them. So yes, as I've alluded to, this movie does hold up. Let me know in the comments what you think about Child's Play. I appreciate you joining and for voting on this movie. I had a lot of fun rewatching this one. First time I've watched it in years and I'm really glad I did. And I'm glad I did it for this Halloween season. Love to know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And... Don't forget to vote on the next Does It Hold Up, which will be coming next week because there won't be a new one this this following week. So the poll will be the this next week for a new Does It Hold Up video. And I can't wait to see you there. Can't wait to see what we're going to do next. I'm really enjoying this series. I hope you are too. We'll see you guys next time on Movie Time Minute.